Hey, Orange One here. So I just got done naming all of our dwarves. So, uh, yeah. I mean, we haven't named the children because, well, I might murder them. <laughs> Truth be told. Um, so what I wanted to do was I actually, I'm not really sure about our, um, our setup here for the tomb because we didn't, we didn't smooth the walls here, so I'm not really sure what I want to do about that, but it's going to be a little bit of an issue. Um, I also did figure out what was going on with the food. If you cook with something, you don't get the seeds back. So, um, we just need to say don't cook. Just brew. And we'll get our seeds and we're going to be kind of hurt a little bit. But it should work out. Oh, by the way, I put the um, frames per second because I thought you might be curious about that. And we have more migrants. Of course, as soon as I'm done naming people, we'll get more migrants. Um, I'm not going to name them right now. I'll do that in between episodes. But I did want to take uh, the water that we have here and there and put it in our well. Because if we do that, we should should at least have one tile of water, which would be ideal. Um, and I think to do that, it's zones, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. I would want to zone this and say, this is a water source. And this is a water source. And I want said water to go to here. Um, how do you send water to a place? So if I said I want this to be a pit, this pit is pond. I think that that's all I need to do. Let's just double check to see if people are gonna take buckets from there or not. I don't see anyone heading towards there, but it may just be that we're kind of overwhelmed with other things. I'm just going to double check really quick. Yeah. As far as I can tell, um, if we designate this as a uh, place to put water, yeah, dwarves are going to put some water in here. It's perfect. We got a little bit of water coming in. Not sure where they're taking it from, though. Looks to me like he's taking it from there. Yep, he's taking one one unit at a time there, it looks like. And putting it down here. Perfect. Alright, so that should slowly but surely get that going. Um, I could probably make some more buckets. I, I bet we have some just laying around, but might as well. Um... So speaking of which, we could probably, let's just check how many dwarves are not working right now. There's a lot. Um, you know what we should do is we should get our military up and running. Who has, um, let's just pause this for a minute. Uh, let's go to therapist. Who has some decent skills for fighting? Or actually, you know what, I'm going to make you have uh, good student skills, maybe. Not Wallace. Um, hmm. Would it be attributes, maybe? Focus. I want people that are focused in our military. You and Boar. Pastor and Boar. You're going into the military. Let's see. Four. And. Master. And then let's see who else. Dressel House. Uh, yeah, we'll do Dressel House.
Did I misname them or something? Are they like a kid maybe? I think I might have... I don't understand why this person won't join the military. Um, Asimov? Yeah, sure, let's go with Asimov. Hopefully we don't kill off this famous, famous author. Uh, sure. So we'll get some more people in the military. You know what we really should do is we should mine out the rest of this. Make a nice even shape. Speaking of which, uh, let's also mine this out. And can I build any chairs? Yes, we have some chairs that we could put down. Oh, not a door, a chair. And then some tables. That looks good for now. Let's work on maybe, um... We could work on some more impressive real estate. That goes to the edge there, so we don't want to go all the way to the edge, but we can extend this out. Now I'm going to make a big room there, and a similar thing here, like that. Those are going to be some big bedrooms. And you know, we could actually, what we could do is we could make some really skinny rooms like that and make these uh, these bedrooms a little bit more fleshed out. This one I'm actually going to just take these walls out too because it's got some ore. Those are... we got a decent amount of drink now. Don't really... I mean it says we've got 900 food. You know what we could do is we could do a stockpile of food behind the kitchen here and the brewery. Let's just mine out some of this ore as well. It seems irresponsible for us to not be uh, mining that. So is he buried now? Uh, yes, he is buried. And if we look at that, it's his lower left leg, upper left arm, his teeth. Well, it's like his individual teeth. That's crazy. Okay, so they did get all of his parts in there. And you know what we should do, which is going to really help us, is if we, um, if we pin some... Uh, dogs out a little bit further away. Uh, no, uh, what's the, how do you do pens again? Not stockpiles. It's not I, is it? Yeah, it is. It's I and then uh, N, capital N. Let's get one of our stray dogs there. Sure. And then that's good. And then I'm going to do the same thing with another dog over here. And another one down here. This will just give us a lot more of a warning when things are uh, coming towards our base. How many dogs do we have? We actually have a ton of dogs. Let's go ahead and put some of the males down because it looks like the puppies have become dogs. Um, let's do this actually, this one quite a bit up north. And then this other male dog right there. And that looks good to me. 
Hey, we got three down there now. That's good. Oh, is this um, a caravan? I think it is. I totally forgot, but I think there was like a human caravan or something that's here for us. We're putting the dogs up top. It looks like their puppies are going out with them. Maybe we shouldn't have put the moms out there. Um, let's see, do you have any caged animals? You got a reindeer bull, an alpaca, and a rooster? Hmm. It's tempting. Do you have any uh blaster? What about seeds? Red spinach? <laughs> sure, and strawberry seeds. Yeah, I'll buy those. Um, oh, and look, we can see our losses in value. And what about our goods? Do we not have any goods here? Yeah, we need to get some goods here. Um, move goods. confused. We can see their goods, but I don't see any uh, any mugs here. Do we just not have mu mugs here? Um, oh, we don't have mugs here. There we go. do and then people should start hauling it because I think we've got a fair amount of people um, just standing around once we get some mugs then we can maybe get those animals I and mean, we don't really need those animals but our frame rate is is fine so I think that I'm gonna get some animals I think also we've got beds. I wish that they had some plaster though for us. Oh wow, this uh... This ore keeps on going back. These are gonna be some uh... long rooms. It's like those uh... those places in like San Francisco where they've got like really long narrow houses. You know? What's above this? There's nothing above this. That's actually... We could build up a little bit. Let's do that. Uh, actually, also... We can put in some nicer bedrooms here. Or, yeah, some large houses. something like that some smaller ones and these could actually probably be multi-story ones if it lets us uh, let's do some upstairs actually Actually, gonna do some upstairs for these ones as well. There's gonna be some really, uh, really nice places that we're gonna build here. There's gonna be these tiny ones. I will expand. I think a little bit. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that. This is going to be. A lot bigger of a room though. I resize and if I make it bigger I can make this whole thing a room. Yep. And I can go ahead and give them some cabinets and stuff. So if I build 
And then I think H was container. Should I just go with an iron, iron chest and you... We have a lot of iron chests. Why do we have so many iron chests? Do I have like a weird work order for that? Wait, this is going for infinity? Um, I'm gonna cancel that. And an iron cabinet, also I'm gonna cancel that. I don't know what happened there. But we're gonna cancel that, because that iron is should not be going to chests and cabinets. <laughs> I mean, as cool as that is. Um, let's go ahead and build a bed. Bedrooms be multiple stories. That's my question. So if I build or dig and then um, downstairs, we're going to need some downstairs right here and right there, as well as right here. And I do realize that I've sm smoothed, um, whatchamacallit, iron ore. We will take that out and replace it with rock eventually. Oh wait, the merchants left? Oh no, I just completely missed those merchants. At least we got our mugs there now. Um... Yeah, no traders needed. Yeah, we got tons of mugs. They didn't have animals, they didn't have plaster for us. I think we're okay. Did all of our water evaporate? Yeah, I think all of our water evaporated that we tried to move there. That's a shame. We just made it so that we have absolutely no water. <laughs> You know what we can do is uh, we can dig some more holes down, kind of like what we did there. Um, so if we go to like here and there, if we dig a channel, do like a channel here and there, that one there, do that one there. there like some there that's probably sufficient for a little experiment though at this point yeah we've got tons of food our drink situation is is not looking good though um, I'm gonna say this is no longer a pond that we should be filling. Um, mostly because I don't want them taking water away from our ponds right now. That didn't seem to work out very well. You know what we could do is we could dig down deeper into the into the rock and try and get to the cavern. We have dug out that marble. I'm shocked that we didn't find a cavern this deep. What level are we on when we're here? 33? Actually, 33 is not as deep as I thought it was. Uh, let's go ahead and dig up downstairs. We're on 33. Keep on going down. Now we're at zero. Maybe we shouldn't go to zero. Yeah, we'll do like that. We've got tons of rock tables to decorate our, our houses with. Let's go ahead and build some tables.
I think everyone, even our our peasants, should have a table in their their bedroom, don't you? But then again, maybe we should just complete the long t no the long table we're gonna make out of like. Maybe we could make iron tables for that. And some chairs. Go ahead and get a chair there. And a chair there. I'm going to actually put down a bed. If it lets me, um, I'm going to mine this out. Like that. And that's going to be the bedroom for this house here. I'm interested to see how this goes. We're just doing all kinds of weirdness with the houses, giving them a little, uh, little uh, uniqueness. I do really like our little throne space. What I was thinking was we could do um, like a, we could mine out these walls and then smooth the next layer out. I mean, I was hoping to do like a tome, like a, oh, I messed up one. Can't have that. Like a little pyramid thing, but it's not even really a pyramid. So we'll we'll mine this out. We'll smooth it. The only other option would have been to put some uh, wood down and then smooth it, but that would take forever. I'm not interested in spending that much time on it. Not right now. And we could mine it out and then put like actual... Ooh, you know what we could do is we could put metal. Ooh, I actually like that. We could line this with some metal. That'd be a lot of iron. And our dwarves wouldn't even really see it. And we seem to have an abundance of iron. Is also the other side of that. I'm actually going to dig this out as well. And I think we might need to make some iron blocks. I'm, I'm stuck because like if we do too much with the iron, we're gonna increase our value too high, and then we're gonna get like raided by goblins before our, our military has any. Oh. Uh. Well, Curie is going off somewhere else. By the sounds of it. Curie wasn't in our military, was she? No. Well, then I don't really care. <laughs> Truth be told. Uh, so these can't turn these into bedrooms. I'm just gonna do one and see how that works. If it will let us do this. A multi-floor bedroom. So if I click on that, and I go down a level. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it wants to allow this to be a multi-floor. Okay, well, we'll let someone have this, this bedroom, and then we'll do like a bed in here as well. Bed there. And a bed there. Has so much iron, we're gonna have to take that out and replace the walls. Oh my goodness. As soon as we take this down, it's gonna break the bedrooms and turn it into one one room, isn't it? What a 
about these uh, giant rooms? Can I make them bedrooms? And I'm actually going to maybe smooth things. So if we do D and then not engrave, but just smooth it. I want to just smooth all the bedrooms that we have. It's going to take them a while because that's a large area to smooth. But I'll give them something to do. That way they're not going to just like sit around doing nothing. Hey, it's raining. You know what that means? It means that maybe puddles will fill. I'm so bummed our little water experiment didn't turn out. Can I just go down and see how deep we've gotten? And we're... Yeah, I don't know gone so deep. It makes me think that there might not be a cavern. I didn't know that was possible though. That you always got cabins in this game. Oh, um, Barony. Is that, wait, is this... Oh, Curie requires a nice fancy office. Well, maybe we can make one of our new uh, bedrooms your, your office, huh? So if we do like, um, what is it, chair that you need? We'll do a marble throne and table. So Curie, that, this will be your office slash bedroom. We'll do like a, not a recept, uh, container, do like some iron chest, and then cabinet is F, iron cabinet, sounds good to me. How's our stockpile of wood? It's probably low, huh? Oh yeah, we need, we need more wood. Let's go ahead and chop down trees. I like how the game like instantly knew that I was looking to cut down some trees. Let's cut those down. We've got a ton of food and we actually have 200 drink now so I think that Judging off that, that means, yep, our farms are actually working now. We've got cave wheat. And I bet with cave wheat, yeah, they can't cook that. So, of course, that if you can't cook that, it's actually going to work out better. It says it's raining. But I don't think it's raining here. I think it's like... It's weird it's saying it's raining, but I'm not seeing any water come down. Yeah, we got a lot of puppies on the surface. It's making me a little more nervous <laughs> than it should be. I'm just curious with our chickens, how's that going? If I click on this... Are they not laying eggs? What's the deal with this? It says these nest boxes... Okay, they, they do have some claimed. If I click on that... Yeah, I think that we've told dwarves to not carry eggs. Let's just check though. If I go to our stocks, can we check for eggs?
So I've searched for it, and then if I do uh, Shift Z, shouldn't it take me there? An egg barrel. Wait, what? Are you guys really storing the eggs? Uh, I don't want eggs put in here. So, forbid eggs. There we go. We have all these eggs sitting in storage, basically. <laughs> the kitchen doesn't cook with them. But we do have pig's milk that we can cook with. Gosh, I feel kind of dumb. We have got all those eggs. <laughs> We'd have like a ton of chickens by now if we had actually managed things properly. How long have I been recording for? I feel like it's been about half hour. Yeah, it has. Alright, well I am I'm gonna end this episode here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One. <laughs>